Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals parentheses arc sine of 5x squared, all of that to the third power. Okay, so when I take the derivative of this, we're going to be basically using the chain rule with our um, trig rules, things like that. Okay, so we have dy, dx here, and we notice the most outer shell here is that third power. So we're going to apply, apply the power rule here. Three times keeps the inside the same. Arc sine of five x squared to the second power. Okay, so we subtract the exponent by one and multiply that by the uh, derivative of the inside. Now the derivative of the inside, now ignore the outside part, I have an arc sine. So I have to use my rule here. <coughs> I have one over the square root of one minus, and once in this little parenthesis, squared. I have five x squared, and I'm going to be squaring all of that. Lastly, <laughs> in our chain of chain rules here, we multiply that by the derivative of this inside little parenthesis. 5x squared power rule is a 10x. So we have this uh, three part basically here for this derivative. Let's see if we can condense it a little bit to one big fraction. Okay. Well, the 10x and the uh, 3 uh, can we multiply the other to have a 30x out front. We're just going to leave this parenthesis here. Uh, we have the arc sine of 5x squared, all to the second power. Now the denominator, I'm going to bring that down to the square root of 1 minus, but we can square this 5x squared. 5 squared is 25, and x squared all squared is x to the fourth power. And there we have it. Our final answer here is 30x times the parenthesis of sine, arc sine of uh, 5x squared, uh, all that's going to be squared over the square root of 1 minus 25x to the fourth power. So let's recap here. We're given y equals um, the third power of uh, arc sine of 5x squared. So chain rule, power rule, power chain rule, right? 3 comes out, square the x by 1, keep the inside the same. Then we take the derivative of the inside, that's a chain rule problem. The derivative inside, 1 over, right? Uh, the square root of 1 minus the inside of what's our word? The inside of the arc sine, five x squared, and we square that. Times the derivative of the inside inside part, five x squared, which is ten x. By simplifying, ten x times three gave me thirty x squared, and then we five uh, x squared all squared with twenty five x to the fourth, giving me my final answer here of thirty x times the arc sine of five x squared, all that part squared, all over one minus twenty.